to Renewal Lutheran Church and Oasis of Care. Hey friends, what's up? Are you ready to praise and worship? Let's go! I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river in my soul. I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river in my soul. I've got love like an ocean, I've got love like an ocean, I've got love. I've got peace of joy like a river in my soul. I've got peace of joy like a river in my
Forest got all your equipment ready. Your hat, your mat, your bottle of water, your backpack, and your Bible. Are you ready to explore the world with me? Alright, let's check our map. We're right here in the Lord's Prayer, our Father in Heaven. Okay, so we have to hit this way to get to the next part in the Lord's Prayer, which is Hallowed Be Thy Name. Let's go! Whew, what a fun track! Let's see what we have here. Hallowed Be Thy Name. Hold up, what does Hallowed mean? Let me see. Yeah. Hallowed means greatly honored, respected, and worshipped. Because God is good, the first thing that Jesus said is to honor his name. Psalm 9 verse 10 says, Those who know your name will trust in you. Did you know that Jesus was called more than one name in the Bible? It's just like my name is Haley Kate Wong. My mom calls me Darling. My brother calls me Mimi. And my friends call me Haley. Jesus had many names too. When we know his name, we know how great he is. And we will be able to trust him in every situation when we pray. Let's check out his first name. He is Jehovah Jireh. This name means that God will see to it. God will provide. This is Elijah. He was a man who trusted and obeyed God. There came a time when God told Elijah that there won't be rain for a long, long time. What this means is, there won't be much food or water in the land. Oh no! But God had a plan. He told Elijah to go live by the stream so he would have water. He even directed the birds to bring him food. How great is that? But soon, there wasn't even a drop of water in the stream. What would Elijah do now? But God had a plan. He told Elijah to go to a town where he would give him food and water. Elijah obeyed God and went. When he got to the town, he saw a woman. She was picking up sticks to build a fire. He asked the woman, Would you please bring me some water? The woman agreed and went on her way to get him water. As she was leaving, he asked her, Could I have some bread also? But because of the famine, the lady didn't have enough. She only had enough for her son and her. Elijah told the woman not to worry, because God had already promised that there will be enough food for them. The woman believed. So she went home and made bread. She used what little flour she had left, what little oil she had left, and she made bread. As she was making bread, she looked in the jar and noticed there was still more flour and oil to make dinner for her son and her. From that day on, the jar of oil and flour was never empty. She had enough ingredients to make more bread. They were all blessed. God kept his promise to provide for them. God told Elijah that he would provide for him. When he arrived to the widow's house, she only had a handful of flour and a little oil in a jar. It wasn't enough to feed the widow herself and her son. Yet, God provided in the most amazing way. The flour never ran out and the oil never ran out until there was rain again in the land. God provided for her household for many days. 
whatever that you need, God is able to provide. That's amazing. Let's check out the second name. He is Jehovah Rapha, God who heals. We saw in so many instances that Jesus healed so many people in so many ways. He healed people everywhere he went. He made blind people see, paralyzed people walk, touched the sick and made their sickness go away. Go show yourself to the priest. As they went, they were healed. Jesus did not go to the man's house. He said this instead. Go, your son will live. His servants came to him to tell him that his boy was alive and well. When you need healing, Jesus can heal you. He is our healer and he wants to heal you. How do I know that? Jesus came to earth not only to die for our sins, but he was weak. So, by his stripes, we are healed. Jesus came for our healing. That's how I know it's written in God's word. There are many, many, many more names that Jesus has in the Bible. But today, we will only look at one more. He is Jehovah Shalom. God is my peace. Yes. There are so many verses in the Bible that points to Jesus being our peace. For example, in 1 Corinthians 14 verse 23, it says that God is not a God of confusion, but of peace. And in John 14 verse 27, it says that Peace I live with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. When we have God's peace, we won't be scared or worried. We know that He is there for us all the time. When we fill our hearts with His peace, there will be no space for worries in our hearts. Kids, when we pray and know His holy name, all the wonderful names that we just learned, we will be happy in the Lord. It just like it says in Psalms 33 verse 21, No wonder we are happy in the Lord, we trust in His holy name. When we know all the wonderful names of God, we know that we have His healing, His peace, His provision and so much more. Because of that, we can pray big prayers. Wow, there's so much more to discover in his words. I can't wait to get to our next destination in the Lord's Prayer next week. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for teaching us all your wonderful names so that we are able to pray big prayers. Thank you for being our peace, provider, healing and so much more. Give us your wisdom in everyone's studies and keep us safe and healthy at home. In Jesus' name, Amen. Could I feel like eating bamboo like a panda? Bamboo. Hi, Kim. Today we are going to make baklava. Hazelnut, almond, cashew nuts, walnut, pistachio. <coughs> layer one, layer two, topping. First we add half this one into here, half this one into here. Now we have our phyllo pastry. It's very easy to break. Be careful with this one. Stick it on the wall with your hand. Add the mustard butter and then spread it. Cut 
the face tree. Bake for 35 minutes at 180 degrees. Spread the honey onto the baklava. And then enjoy! Thank you, Jesus, for dying on the cross for our sin. It is such a great joy to have you as our Savior, Lord, and friend, knowing that we have complete forgiveness of our sins. Sing, cry.